Hi, it's Hank with Reptile Tool Works. A lot of times we will get a question in relationship to sharpness, hardness, toughness on our A36 card. Okay? Now, these have a Mercury style exterior hardness up through here with a center core toughness. So what I want to do is I'm going to put this in a vise, I'm going to put a pipe on it, okay, and I'm going to pull on the pipe and show you that not only do we have an outstanding edge on this, but we also have an inherent toughness, okay. Now, they're not selectively edge heat treated, so this knife lives its entire life as you sharpen it up. It stays hard, so it doesn't end up soft back here. So uh, we're going to look at what happens when we basically take one stamp on this side, put it in the blacksmith's vise, squeeze on it. Now you can't see it from here, but I got a whole bunch of people on tears at the shop because this ain't a second. This is a good knife, and I hate to break. I hate to break one just because. Okay, so we're gonna set up. I'm gonna grab it with a handle part here and watch to make sure nothing flies that away. Okay, now, get him out of the vise here. Okay, we did separate our sides and we did shear, but now it's not, let me show you, okay. it's not just hanging on, okay? I still have some resilient toughness there, so I guess if you get it to this point, um, you got a heck of a, of a crooked knife there, but basically, um, can you zoom in? Okay. Just like on the Samurais, you can see where we did fracture the exterior hard layers, but the center tough core held together the way it's supposed to. So as I've said, we don't make an unbreakable knife, but we do make a knife that has an inherent sharpness, stays sharp for the entire cross section of its blade, sharpens easily, and um, I would consider that knife to be really tough. Okay. Thanks for viewing. I appreciate it. God bless.